Hi friends. Um, it is Thursday and I just wanted to do a read aloud for you guys. It's called The Gruffalo and my friend Lauren lent me this book. So the story is called The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson. I'm going to show you this picture. And you guys, what do you think is the setting? Take a look. Does it look like they're out in the city? I don't think so. Hmm, what do you think? I think the setting is out in the woods. Let's see. The Gruffalo. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. A fox saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. Oh, it's terribly kind of you, Fox. But no, I'm going to have lunch with the Gruffalo. A Gruffalo. What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why didn't you know? There it is. He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Why are you meeting him? Here by these rocks and his favorite food is a roasted fox. Roasted fox? Oh my, said the fox. Goodbye, little mouse. And away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know? There's no such thing. Thing as a gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Join me for tea in my tree top house. It's frightfully nice of you, owl, but no, I'm going to have tea with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? It's so hard to do the pictures, friends. He has knobbly knees and turned in toes, and a poisonous wart on the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Oh, here by the stream. And his favorite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream? Twig bit, twig hoo. Goodbye, little mouse. And away owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. Oh, it's wonderfully good of you, Snake, but no, I'm having a feast with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why didn't you know? His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by this lake? And his favorite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake, it's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse. And away snake slid. Oh, silly snake. Doesn't he know there's no such thing as a Gruffalo? Oh, but who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous 
his wart on the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help, oh no, it's a gruffalo. My favorite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Uh, good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this deep, dark wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone is afraid of me. Oh, sure, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You lead the way and I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, I, I hear a hiss in the grass ahead. It's Snake, said the mouse. Why, Snake, hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, dear, he said. Goodbye, little mouse and slid right into his log pile house. You see, said Mouse, I told you so. Huh, amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's Owl, said the mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Hoo, hoo, he said, goodbye, little mouse. And he flew right up to his treetop house. You see, said Mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear some paws on the path ahead. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And he ran right into his underground house. The mouse said, Gruffalo, now you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy is starting to rumble and my favorite food is a Gruffalo crumble. Gruffalo crumbled, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind, he turned and he fled. All was quiet in the deep, dark wood. The mouse found a nut and the nut was good. To look pretty carefully at this picture, friends, to be able to spot the mouse and his nut that he's having for a snack. This story reminded me that sometimes it's really good to be thinking and be super clever. And sometimes we surprise people with how clever we can be. I think the mouse in this story was really, really clever. If you can think of a way that you think the mouse is clever, maybe make a little video about it. I think he was super clever and he totally tricked everybody, including the Gruffalo. So take a, take a minute and think about how was he clever? Why was that a good thing? Why was it so helpful that he was a clever little mouse? I think if I came across the Gruffalo, I'd want to be really clever too. All right, you guys, I miss you and I hope you're having a really great day and um, I will pop on again tomorrow.